All right, I've started um, uh, recording just by the way. Cool. Uh, awesome. So, uh, so can you also open, and I know you'll have to switch back and forth for me to see it, but can you also open up the, uh, app bloop. So sorry, blueprints slash add on slash files slash Ember Steel I build. I'm uh, sharing my screen as well. So you oh, can great. see. Yeah. Great. Uh, that's interesting. Cause that's actually broken. That thing. That's fine. Uh, Cool. So you want, what was it? Uh, so blueprints slash add-on slash files slash uh, Ember CLI build. Ember CLI build. Yep. Oh, so this is, all right. So this is when you just actually Ember generating an add-on. Like, like Ember add-on foo and it generates an right. add-on for it. This is the, like th these are the set of files it uses. This file happens to be, have no templating in it. There's no like, dynamic bits um but it is yeah it's but it thing. can be if we wanted yeah. it to be okay cool right so so our top level goals here were two twofold just there being an ability to have multiple dummy apps mm -hmm. um whatever that looks like um and then secondly we kind of want to think about running a test against one of the two dummy apps. Yeah. So does that mean that, how does this work? Where's the test folder that's usually in the add-on? Ah, uh, so there's some weirdness here. Um, surprise, surprise. Um, between um, the add-on blueprint and the app blueprint. So basically <clears throat> the add-on blueprint inherits quote unquote, lots of air quotes and scare quotes uh, from the app blueprint. Um, it doesn't do this in, it, there, there's no built-in mechanism to do this inheritance. It's just like manually someone has brute force, uh, brute forced it to work, um, which, which is fine. Um, but uh, it's a little bit annoying. Like <clears throat> it would be great if you could make your own custom blueprint that extends from one of the built-in ones. Mm -hmm. But right now it's just not, <clears throat> it's not a thing that works well. Uh, anyways, so the reason you don't see test folder here is because <clears throat> it's provided by the app. So, um, so if you look in uh, blueprints app files, blueprints app files. Yeah. So basically, these files are overlaid with they're like merged with the add-on blueprints files, and then like some small amounts of transformation is done. Like add-on hyphen config replaces the top level config environment or something like that. Anyway, so there's some small uh, like like munging that's going on with the pads and stuff, but roughly that's how to think about it. Right? But so but how so does different it add the, the dummy then? Uh, yeah, that's that's what we're going to get into. <laughs> um, so um, so two things. First of all, there is uh, no difference in the test setup from a dummy app and a regular app. Uh, or sorry, a dummy app like in an add-on and a regular app. Right. Okay. So as as you, like if you glance at the Ember add-on JS file. Oh, by the way, now I can see Teletype is sharing each of your tabs now. That's yes. New, that, is, that was that new great. since last time we like. That was awesome. Every time I open a tab, you get access to it. Yes, that's super awesome. Anyway, sorry. Um. So uh, okay. So the uh, in the Ember add-on file. Uh, you'll see the the whole point of what we're doing is we're basically saying ah, let's build an app like let's let's extend from the main Ember app pipeline and just tell it where the trees of the thing are. So if you go and look at the Ember add-on JS file there at the top, uh, your tab. So um, Ember add-on the actual yeah. tab. So okay. to see these overrides here on 34, five, whatever it is, yeah. like 35, I guess. So so we're basically saying hey. Build an app where your um, where your trees, um, your apps trees, like your normal, like when you build the app, its app tree is in this subdirectory, test a dummy app, right? Okay. That's the only difference. Like that is th this this file is the difference between a dummy app and a regular. Uh, okay. Add -on, now sorry, I understand. Add on a dummy app and a regular app. Now. And because I of this, think, because we're passing those overrides in. Yeah. Yes. And we we basically just calling super with the updated options set, mm -hmm. right? 
Oh, yeah, because um, uh, yeah, so, cause overrides takes over from options there in that context. Yeah, yeah. Right. So okay. the use, so that would be if the add-on, so the add-on that actually uses this, uh, which which is in that Ember CLI build file, your last tab, uh, like you'll see, it's using this Ember add-on thing, and it just calls new on it, and it passes some options, like this vendor files option, yeah. right? So it, that thing, that POJO that's on line six, the last POJO there, is is what's passed into the options flag of the constructor right right okay like that's just how how this is all working right, that's cool. um so uh so um do you let do you want to just like try a thing real quick and then we'll see sure. how far we can get without making because i believe that we can get pretty far without making any changes to cli's code <laughs> let's see what happens so um, what's now, your thoughts either way that we'll want to have blueprint changes like if we want this to be a default process mm -hmm. but so my thoughts here is like, uh, because we've only got one, it's a is our relationship between an Ember app and an Ember add-on. Yes. What we really need is a has a relationship so that it can have two Ember apps. Ah, so here's here's the interesting part. <clears throat> um, we can have a whatever the hell we want relationship because if you look at an Ember CLI build file, um this the thing? thing that i yeah if the thing that i was saying or i was i was going on is basically <laughs> oh i see what you're gonna do <laughs> yeah and then we um and then like we have some shoot i can't type apparently uh defaults and then like i mean i don't know whatever like M MU or something. Like do. Dummy. Yeah. No, not dummy. Test MU. Cool. Right? Something like this, right? Like this, this of course is... doesn't do anything. There's no base dir, right? Yeah. And then uh, instead of returning here, we would, we would like we would basically now like ah uh, we will return a uh, new merge trees of like the uh... the two, right? Uh, app and other app this, this this doesn't work off the cuff but it's like something close right mm -hmm. so we can uh, actually hold on we can do what's a funnel is that a broccoli funnel yeah thank you <clears throat> um oh i, I <laughs> finale <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. European phone. Oh, man, I can't even type. I can't even type. It's, it's too early in the morning for you. Yeah, I'm telling you. Uh, Duster, uh, let's just say, like, dummy. Like, basically, we got to give them some differentiator here. So so they end up in our asset output properly. Um, funnel. funnel is not something I've used before, so. It is super common. Like, it is probably the single most used uh tree i think like if you add up all the all the instances of all the trees i think it's one of the top ones but uh the nice thing is like you like you said you don't have to write it most of the time yeah yeah uh so let's just say mu right okay. also this looks horrible but whatever <laughs> I think it's good uh, so. This is the this is the thing that I'm thinking now. Of course, I don't think em I don't know that Ember CLI's internals should do this for you. But I'm saying I believe that we can make the like make a new add-on just locally to test to futz with it and make this function. Okay. And then we can figure out like I think the reason I added Baster there is because the way to do it today would be to add the overrides for each tree. <clears throat> um. So in, but in this science. thing here. Yeah, so you'd pass a POJO that looked like tree. You, you uh, Hold on. you would pa I'm trying to highlight your screen. That doesn't work. Um, you would pass a POJO that looks like that, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but instead, um, what we're doing but, here but is where... Right. I, I want to pass the root of this, and so I don't have to duplicate all of Yeah, these. exactly. Yeah, yeah. But um... that's not a big deal. Like, we can totally... We should be able to hack... Not, not even hack. We should be able to write this in an add-on to prove the possibility and show how it works, like as a proof of concept. And and then we'll, I do think that we should add some sort of baster or some some like, you know, app root path or something yeah, yeah. In, um, in there. Well, like even, even if we're like, again, going back to what we're trying to achieve today, it's like so that you can bring this to the meeting tonight and say, oh, we mm -hmm. tried a thing 
what do we yep. think? You know, so yep. that's exactly. like entirely yeah. in line. And, it, and it's super good if we can actually say show it working. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no so. pressure. So how do I? I mean, so, it's maybe uh, a stupid I would question, just but a new terminal and make a new one. So do, do I generate with a? Yeah, with uh, you do Ember space add on space uh well, whatever the name you want to do so but don't how... do it in this repo do you you would want to do it in another folder so uh oh this did work so uh, again it may be a stupid question but how do i how do i uh generate with this ember cli do i ember do i you npm can, you link do npm and, link and then it's global global ember yeah but the problem is that the, if you do that uh well it's not even a problem it, uh i guess the thing that i'm saying is it doesn't matter um because you're, even if you generate this global, when you generate a new uh, project, it's going to put as a ver constraint, whatever, caret 3.1. Yeah, yeah. Dot whatever, whatever the current thing is. And, um, and so, so when it does, in, as part of the blueprinting process, when it does the NPM install, it's going to use the release version. It won't carry over the link. It doesn't, it doesn't realize the global is linked and then link it in the new app. Yeah, the thing I was curious about, because I know about linking ember cli in the new app but i didn't know how to make it use this blueprint in the global yeah yeah so, so you just do npm link if you do npm link then the ember that you're using is this one of course we, we've made changes that we should undo though if you're gonna do it is that new merge trees thing at the end is this is my imagination hacking <clears throat> well no we'll, we'll we'll go with this so far and then see what happens okay um, and I can unlink it afterwards so that my my uh, Ember CLI isn't completely hosed. <laughs> I just I guessed on the there. on the requirements, by the way. Yep. I, I assumed that, it would be something like broccoli funnel. Confirm. Those are exactly correct. Okay, so that's that, um, and we'll just do a temp folder. I have a temp folder that I can just nuke it at uh, a moment's notice. Um, I, have, I have something somewhere. I call it the sandbox. <laughs> yeah. Mostly because that's where the cats come along and take little poops in. <laughs> Is that why it's called sandbox? No, but that's the, on my system. Yes, that's why. But that's not why the sa the name of a sandbox. Is a I sandbox. thought it was somewhere to play. Yes, it's somewhere to play, but then, like, you, you, you know, if someone, if someone accidentally makes a mess in the sandbox, you can just, like, delete it. Yeah. So I'm going to go, if I do ember new. Uh, oh, you want to do add on, not new. Oh, yeah, sorry. Ember space add on. Uh, ember add on. No. Uh, testing. Yeah, or something. Yeah, something like that. Testing new. We can add that as a folder in here when we do that uh, 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 uh. the computer tends to freak out when uh, when I'm like recording something using this recording software mm -hmm. it's it's just not very happy at all oh no npm takes a little bit longer than usual <laughs> which is never good um, okay, so... Yeah, which is, which is, <laughs> yes, which is saying something. Although, cool. uh, I have, I've had good experience with 6 so far. I really quite like... I don't know if you've used 6 very much. Oh, no, I'm on 6. Really... I'm 6 and Node 10, so I'm... I'm yeah, I really um... quite like the... Um... Oh, that's neat. Anyways, sorry. Um, I really quite like the... Um... The, the when you publish with six, it now prints out all the files oh, you yeah. published. Yeah, that uh, has and saved my bacon so already. So nice. It's, it's so good. good. Um, we should report this warning. What is this? The warning you see there. Uh, basically saying so we have a version compatibility thing in CLI, <clears throat> but um, we currently in we we warn if you're using an npm version that we don't know about. Right. You so recently should... fixed that for the Node 10. Yeah, we did it for Node 10, but not for apparently NPM. Yeah, cool. So we have apparently two different things, which I didn't remember. But So should I do that as an issue when we... Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'll write that down. I mean, it's not critical or anything. I just, yeah. I noticed, you know... As well, you noticed while we're waiting for NPM, we might as well talk about it. <laughs> NPM uh, uh, 6 version. 
warning. I suspect it's easy to fix, but I don't actually know. Yeah, I think it's just like a list of known major versions that we have worked well with. Mm -hmm. I think we just keep it right. Unlike the Node one, we the Node one is special because we actually we calculate the warning based on the nodes that we test it. So we actually parse our own Travis YAML. Oh wow! At, and, and detect whether uh, ah, are you running in a node that we have tested? Does that mean that if somebody tries to run it in run the new Ember CLI in Node four, it'll warn? Uh, yes, correct. Ooh, that's fun. I like that. Yeah, I, I I don't know exactly what it says in that case. I know what it says. It, so basically, it's it's got one of three warnings. One is you're using an obsolete version of Node. The other one is you're using a version of Node that is untested, meaning like, ah, we don't test on it. It may or may not work. Um, that would be like when Node 10 came out, but we hadn't. I hadn't updated the the listing or mm -hmm. the the. the, the the task, the job, whatever it is, um, and uh, and then the third state is maybe there's only two. Hmm. I don't know. I thought there were three, but it, I can't think of the third one. So, so that should be us up and running now. Yep, totally. Are we just going to now, go npm you, start or? Uh, well, you, no, because every time we make a change to this build file, we have to re we have to bounce the server. So, I think for now we'll be just doing Ember build manually. Oh, okay. Just just for kicks and giggles there. So it's just Ember build and then... Yeah, and then it's going to email the thing. Now, this is going to probably error because we don't have, like, base there isn't a thing. Like Right, yeah. So let's go and, like, start talking about actual base I don't base have there. that tab. Why don't I have that tab? This new tab? Oh, because I didn't open it. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's that um, whole two cases of... Uh... Mm, clean up clean is not function... Oh, so uh, so I made a mistake. I still don't have the tab. I don't know, but um, maybe it's I will open it again. Project. No, it doesn't usually. How do I know if Teletype got confused? Oh, you have to click my face. <laughs> okay. Well, because <laughs> uh, if you start, <laughs> if you start navigating like away from where I am, you have to click my face to get to the file that I'm on now. Oh, I see. I see. I see. And okay. you kind of, you can do a thing. So see, see, I don't know if you can see on my screen, you're, mm -hmm. you're green now. So that means you're on the file. I see. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Apps. Yeah. Because yeah, apps are. I can't save. I think that. that you can be. save now. I can. How do I do? Just Command you, S. Command S. Yeah, you you okay, saved right. it. What you? I, I did. I did. I <laughs> I randomly smashed Command S in, in the thought that it might do something. But nice. although it's not liking this, are they not? Uh, it's, they're not. It, so this is so this is actually a really awesome feature that we added to Ember CLI, uh, which is really just an ESLint feature. It's telling you that you have not added as a dep uh, or a dev dep those two things. To this project, right? Okay. It will run. This is a linting failure, basically. Yeah, but they will run. Like, if you were to publish this, and this was a thing your consumers were supposed to use, mm -hmm. they wouldn't have it necessarily. Oh. Now, I happen to know that Ember CLI brings this. Like many, many things bring those as depth, so it's totally in an old modules folder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's fine. But in the really, really strange off chance that you've been able to do uh, something without merge trees. Yeah, well, you can imagine like a weird link can it, can, I don't know, like a link scenario where it, I don't. I actually I can't imagine it. Cool. <clears throat> so there's the whole thing, right? So now, uh, now we we haven't actually done anything. This desk dir thing, or sorry, this base dir that I added to the new Ember add-on line doesn't do jack, right? Yeah. It doesn't do anything. Um, but you can see, uh, let's let's just get the test harness to work too, right? Um, like right now we've just duplicated the dummy app. Which is like, who cares? But, um, but you, we can, we can actually make tests work against one or the other. Okay, let's do that. Let's, so, that seems uh, nice. let's, let's go to testum. Js. So this is in, uh, in the generated thing or an Ember CLI. I would do the generated thing. Well, I, I would. I think we should just hack in the generated thing until cool. we know what we need to change. In yeah, I, I'm still trying to figure out which is, like, what is what. Uh... So this is this is like the default generated thing. Now notice, t 
test page. So right now, if you run Ember test, I think it should fail. Yeah, because like, it's you just see, because it's uh, yeah, there's no top level happened. test folder, right? Yeah. Um, however, if you change that prefix to dummy or uh, whatever we call yeah. it, I guess it's dummy dummy slash like now this should pass, right? So if I so, just run npm test in here, it should work. Yep. So are we saying that we want this to kind of in this scenario? Well, we want this to be dummy by default, but you could pass it in as a. I think that I think we would. So I think the thing that I was thinking is we would make it like you know just do a little JS above the line one there and like have a variable for like you know you know app to test or something and it defaults like ah if process at env dot whatever is set then use it otherwise um, yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. This is this is what I was thinking, and then just like an inline interpolate there. Yeah, mm. it's a no, it's this 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 conversion always does annoy me. <laughs> I hate having to delete. I'm like I'm halfway in the middle of a string. I've already done quotes, regular quotes, and I'm like, ah, oh, crap. Yeah, it's like the best thing about that is uh... that's interesting. Er Ember not defined. Yeah, so so this is an issue with uh, it not knowing how to load the assets. So if you go to test slash index HTML, this one here, yeah, any of them. But notice how they are loading from forward slash. Uh huh. They now need to load from forward slash uh, dummy and forward slash. So this uh, one, uh, this is weird. Yeah. No line thirteen and fourteen. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm looking I at those two. It's just. Um... Oh, you can do it too. Yeah, ah, fun. Now this is. Uh, this actually s seems fine, but I'll do it in um, the other index. I assume if I swap, it doesn't. In this one we needed to go uh, mu. I've clicked your face. <clears throat> oh, see, that means you'll be able to follow me. <laughs> you should see a little a little lock. I me? do, I do. Because yeah. like then that means if like I links in the chain or something. Yeah, because yeah. then like, then you'll follow me wherever links, I go. Basically. Yeah, yep. yeah. Um, so I I updated the index one yep, in. Yeah. So so now, and then we could do a second one where we're uh, where we said app to test equals mu. Yeah. Interesting. Oh shoot! We edited the wrong thing. I'm very sorry. We edited uh, the dist. Oh, uh, so we need to. Uh, we need to edit that thing in test, but but we haven't actually made two folders, right? So we don't have two different folders. So we would need to have it so that it would be templated in some way. Is that possible um, in the index? What do you What do you mean? So. This is reset, no doubt, has it? Uh, index. Oh, hold on. What did we just do? Did, did you refresh? I don't know how. We rebuilt. Oh, I didn't rebuild. It should rebuild. When you do an NPM test, it doesn't build. Oh, does it? Yeah. So maybe, you, maybe your uh, editor is just opening the older file. Do, when you say it does a rebuild, does it rebuild and drop it into dist? Yeah. Uh, no, it does not. So is it like somewhere yeah, in temp or something? Temp, yeah, because that way you can run multiple MPM te MPM tests together. Right, so okay. that, that uh, interestingly means that we can still recover the mistake. Um, if you could do Ember test uh, dash dash output path uh, equals dist, it'll it will not do a build and it will use what is in dist to run the tests. Is it that? I think path? it's dash path. I, I think it's all dasherized, but I I could be wrong. Uh, kebab equals, case equals dist. Yeah. <clears throat> so this should not do a build. Like we shouldn't get a uh, notice about doing a build. It should just do the tests. I think. Nope. I have done nothing wrong. So cancel this. It is not output path. Hold on. <laughs> Ember help test. It's, uh, it's funny. This is one of the things that I like the most about doing the like live streaming with Jen. It's oh, like it's just path. 
So so I did Ember Ember. Uh, the way I figured it out was just by saying Ember space help space test, and it emits all the. Uh, all right, things. okay. But it's like, I love that we are veterans who've been doing this for years, and we still can't remember the things. Oh, I, I like. can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. We have to look. I mean, day. I remember the things I do every day, right? But <laughs> exactly. I I can't even remember the things I do every day. Um, uh, still not okay. Okay, so let's, uh, we can do Ember test, we can just do up arrow and say dash dash server, and then we can see what the heck's going on. Uh, so, Ember just server? Add, no, test. Oh, yes. Uh, dash dash server. Yeah, I never use this. Well, now we're gonna. I always just have it like Ember serve and then do the slash tests. Yeah, yeah, that, that's great. But in this case, there's no way to tell that to use your old assets. Oh, that's interesting. Didn't as know far that. as I know. I mean, because it's kind of a weird thing to do. So, in this case, uh, this is this is nice. So if you open that up, wherever that's gone, because yeah. a spare window. twenty million we... windows. Yes. Yeah, I'll bring this over to where it's supposed to be. So what do we got? So we should just inspect it. I'm sure it's not loading assets. I'm sure there's something slash assets. Loading. Yeah. So it's not. It's it is. It is not doing what we want. When you say this, mm, so it didn't do a build, right? Like, well, are are these files changed but not saved or something? No, no, it, it would it wouldn't do that. Like italic. Yeah, but that italic is uh, just not open essentially. Oh my gosh! Yeah. But it's obviously open. It's on your screen. Yeah, but it's <laughs> it's it's the it's the sublime text way of like. <clears throat> browsing through things and not quote unquote opening them. Maybe um, I did the dummy one. Maybe I did the wrong one. I quit there for a second. So it's not path equals dist. It's path equals dist dummy. No. Uh, no, because uh, the we told the test page to be dummy to have the dummy in it, and it was finding our index HTML. It just didn't have what we expected in it. Yeah. Right. Like it. It wasn't an. It wasn't a four hundred four. Right. It didn't have anything that looked anything like that index. Because it was well, three it looked like the there. index before. It looked like the index before we mutated this file. And are you sure I saved this? This is definitely saved. And and like your editor will like if someone changes this file out of band, it tells you. Yeah, so there'd be a little blue thing if it was okay. different. Awesome, awesome. Like so, that's not usually a problem that we have to deal with. Cool. Um, God, it keeps going in the wrong place. Stop going in the wrong place. Oh, I usually just do dash dash no launch. So I can go to it manually. And it, it, yeah, and then it prevents it from launching. Because this looks different. Test support CSS. Oh, is it test index? Oh, yeah. I thought that's the file we were in. Oh, no, it was sorry. the other index. Um, So let's close this. What was the thing? No launch? Dash dash. Yeah, dash dash no hyphen launch. Yeah. That is the launch. Yep. Uh, so this I is the it. file where we yeah, go. Right. It's all of these assets and these ones as Not, well? Yeah, all the ones in the assets folder. Not that test one. That test one has to stay the way it is. That's fine. So that's going to be slash dummy. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. There's a there's a thing somebody showed me which was pretty cool, um, where you can select a word, like assets, and then push a key combination, and it selects everything like that every time Ooh. you recycle that key combination. That is cool. Ooh, this looks better. So it's doing a thing. Passed. Cool. <clears throat> now we got to make that actually work. So, okay. So, so now we got to make it work that way by not manually editing dist, right? So, this is what I was saying earlier on about like us having to template this file. Essentially, we need we need the build part, the broccoli bit, to know more about wherever we put that. Well, thing. we're gonna have two folders, right? Like, so in test there'll be dummy and there'll be mu. So that's the next thing we should do. Uh, so. So we will literally have two folders in the test subfolder. This is this is dist. I mean, outside of dist, in the root of the project. Oh right. Okay. So right-click, copy dummy, and paste it into MU. 
Really? Yeah. Or pa paste it in the same folder. Yeah. But it's this index. Yes. So this tests, we need tests and tests hyphen MU or something. Um, no, I think, uh, I, I think that we want to share this file. The, but uh, humor me for a moment. Just so you're copy saying, dummy. And yeah, and you want to you wanna duplicate that to be. Yeah, to and, okay. Now inside that folder, go to config. Oh, what is this? This is a config environment for the app. Ah, uh, root URL. Yes, changes module prefix to MU because you're an MU now. Yep. And then root URL is slash MU. And since root URL is already prefixed in the temp in the index top level index HTML, I think right. it's going to work fine. So this is I I'm like sixty percent sure. I don't so actually know. So this means I do that same change in the dummy though. So, yep. Yeah, so this means because these are the overrides that were passed into the app already, mm -hmm. we can just pass them in in the the Ember CLI build part. Um, I think that changing it here will automatically make it work. But I mean, sorry, in the when we're when we're generating this thing, we need to generate two of them. Yeah, I think I think when uh, so when we wrap this up, eventually, like not today, but yeah, yeah, in yeah. the future, this is all a nice, pretty package in a bow. It'll be like a Ember generate generate uh, in repo te like add on test app or something. Yeah, yeah. And you give it a name, and then it'll just emit it with all the right all the right jazz. So that's yeah. so right there. That, Build and then um, just by doing a build, we can do uh, we should be able to look at this again. We'd we'll be see. able to look at the the index. Is this, yeah, this is the one that should update. This is the updated one. That's interesting during a build. Yeah, it's because our uh, linting has to be updated. If you go to the ESLint config at the top level, you'll um, see. Uh, in... Yeah, there's like a top level ESLint RC. Yeah, there's some overrides about node files and not node files. See how we've excluded, we've included dummy config, yep. but not dummy, uh, not MU. So you need to copy line 28 and. Um, uh, change it to MU, and then copy line thirty-five now, and change it to. Yeah, I see what you mean about when we're wrapping this up. Essentially, dummy. Uh, not that part. This yeah, part. this part. Cool. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> cool. So now let's have yeah, a look at this. Be, but I don't think you'll get you'll yeah. you'll have to re rebuild to get, see that the linting failures are gone. Yeah, we might as well. Um, Over here. Uh, it's, but yeah, it's it's picked up the the dummy stuff anyway. So. Yep. Which means that now our tests we should be able to do npm tests straight away, and it should just work. This is a little bit insane. Now, um, just to be clear, we the mu one still doesn't work yet. Now the dummy one works. Why does the MU one not work? Uh, because we we haven't done. If you look at our Ember CLI build file, um, we we passed that baster, which doesn't mean jack, right? We still have to do a little bit more work here. Uh, what Ember CLI well, we build? That yeah, that's uh, the top level one. Uh, you have it. It's like the. I don't know. You had it open. It's in no. tests or something. No, it's the top level Ember CLI build file. Ember CLI. Oh, it was Ember CLI build. Sorry, I, thought, I, was, I was thinking test in my yeah. head for some reason. Yeah. So, uh, so okay. So let's do some shenanigans here. So um, let us do. So first of all, this baster is garbage. Doesn't work for what we want. We want. To, I do want to make that work though. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna extract this to options. I'll clean up. Don't worry. And then because we'll need to share those options, I think. Oh, I didn't like the test. Oh, it's it's running both of them, testing and you. Uh, well, that's the root of your project. Oh, it's that's it. your project. <laughs> 
Okay, we can go look at that in a second. No, Let's finish where this part. Uh, all right, so now we have shared those. These are like shared options. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I Is that a thing you type a lot? Why did it give me that as? Sorry. Um, okay. So now we need to do something akin to. So this one's fine. This is dummy. I'm going to change this from app to dummy. Cool. Then... We, are we allowed to use object spread yet? Or is that a node 8 thing? Uh, well, we can do whatever we want in this project, but we won't be able to do it in Never See Live. Yeah. Um, okay, so, uh, and I'll change this one to MU just because that's what we're on it. Ah! Getting too used to uh, code now, and it's, it's a new. No, I, I, I use Vim, but. All right, right on. Um, okay, so this is great. Uh, now, the thing that we have to do is we can do this. We don't need to spread. We can just do a sign. Cool. Um, and then... Need a closing paren right there. Okay, so now, if you... Actually, I think you still have it open somewhere. Yeah. I'm going to follow you this time. So then I'm going. Oh, that works. That's cool. Yeah. It? So it's like seamless uh, swapping who's in control, which is kind of cool. Right. Okay. I see what you're doing. This is the thing I want to make us not have to do. Yeah. Yeah. This is the tying it up thing that you were saying. Yeah. Okay. So I think uh, I think I've saved. I think this should be much closer to correct. So. Um, it may not be perfect. Like there may be other things because there's more stuff that happens over in that file. Like if there isn't a dummy app, then set the trees to null. If there isn't a vendor, then set it to the vendor. Like that kind of stuff. But anyways, so now we should. Yeah, we should totally look at. There was some failure. We should look into that too. Yeah. So um, our dist should be quote unquote correct. Or yeah. as we expected. Now, after, after that build, did you do a build? I did do a build. I'm just doing run, Ember test again to see if any of your refactoring was uh, moved things around a little. So this looks right. Dummy. Yeah, the dummy one is going to be right, but it was the MU one that should, it was incorrect. But it wouldn't, but didn't we do a thing where it wasn't going to... So when you um, run when you run npm test it's not going to I thought it was just going to run the dummy one exist. Yeah it did. Yeah yeah. But the thing we just changed in the CLI build file should have fixed the MU one to also be generated correctly now. Right okay. Oh Anyways, in here um, you mean. Oh yeah okay. So let's get yeah. the this one first. But you need so. to do ember build to update the dist cuz the ember test doesn't npm test doesn't update dist. Yeah I think I had done that. We'll do it again anyway. Mm. Oh, you did? Okay. I, I, yeah, it, it was... Did I save, by the way? You did, yeah. I get, I get a little blue thing on my side if I you see. don't... Uh... I don't think I have... Maybe you have. A, maybe that's a plugin you have? No, it's, it's default, but you don't get it for my files. So it's not transmitted across um, uh, teletype, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Let's see. Yeah. What the... Okay. So you're telling me that now the... So this is all... Yeah, so now it has the MU. So, yeah. So it has the right stuff though, right? Yeah. This, this looks right. Fix that. Yeah. yeah. So that's great. Um, oh. Uh, but it's still not working. Like there's still something wrong. We should look at that. But No, it's not MU. right. The dummy one seems to have MU in it as well. Oh, uh, because you did object yeah. assign instead of yeah. object assign into the the object assign is backwards. All right, I think I fixed it. What? Oh no, you did it right. You you put in a. I, I just added an empty post. I, I, yeah, yeah. I didn't have that before, so maybe it was mutating before. Like the thing is, I don't think there's any async here, so I would have expected the first one to be populated already. 
Yeah, but it only it only executes the build when asked for. Yeah, but the I, I'm with you. But the Ember app, or sorry, this new Ember, the ad, Ember add-on, um, what you call it, the Ember add-on constructor eagerly pulls the these things right. off. I see. What you I mean. would think. I would have thought. I, I've never, I've never really thought about it very hard. So. Well, it's it's not often that many people have multiple Ember add-on constructors in a mm-hmm. Ember yeah, exactly. CLI build. So exactly. this could be a weird edge case that we're. I mean, I know it's done. Like I, I have helped people do this before for things like um, localization, where you have um, many, uh, many, um, many different locales you want to generate mm-hmm. for, um, and and so you might loop in this file or something, right, in a prod side. Still new. Is that because? Is let's check the test slash dummy slash config file just to make sure. Root this one shouldn't have been changed. So ah, no, this is the MU one. This is correct. This is let's the test the... MU. Sorry, uh, dummy. Yeah. Config environment. Yep. Dummy. Yep, and this is fine. This is correct. I'm definitely opening dummy. And then this one. So they're both exactly the same. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me just double check something for sanity. Moo app, dummy app, defaults, shared options, shared options, and your shared options hasn't made a difference. Config path. Let's comment out the let's comment out twenty nine through forty, and rebuild and make sure it goes back to dummy. <clears throat> Just as a quick way to start isolating, mm-hmm. I think we're gonna need to put a debugger in eighteen and twenty seven and step in, basically. Just, you, just, I mean, as otherwise we're just gonna have to keep guessing. Yeah. Step in and see what the add-ons actually doing. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Do you think it's a con- it could concurrency? Be a shared, yeah, it could could be, yes. But the, it shouldn't be. Like that that's totally a bug that we even need to fix. <laughs> oh, yeah. I agree that that is what it seems like. Okay. So we think now that in this test yeah, it's back to dummy, and this one is also dummy. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're both going to be the same now. Yeah, but now they're the ones that it was before, so it is something, some sort of shared something between this add-on and this add-on, somehow. <sighs> That's not good. Um, let's have a look at. So let's look in Ember CLI where. Um... Go to Lib Broccoli Ember app. Ember app. Yep. Uh huh. Um, find in here root URL. Just search in here. I think it's capital URL. Uh, I don't have. Uh, it's not case sensitive. Case sensitive. I see. <laughs> then it is probably. Config replace patterns. Constructor. Default packager. So see where we have config replace on 913? I don't know how to go to file, to go to line yet. Ooh, 913? Yeah. Um... So this thing is what replaces the configuration bits in tests index HTML. Um, hmm. And it gives it the config path. Uh, but it should have been, hold on. Yeah. 
It's something around here. Do you want me to step in, like you were suggesting? Uh, yeah, but I was trying to just quickly see where the config was, itself was done. Config replacement. What is Ember App Utils? Ember App Utils is a... Is, uh, so can you open up Utilities, Ember App Utils? Uh, lib Utilities, I think. Lib Utilities... You said Ember App Utils. There should be a thing called Config Replacement Pattern. Ooh, there's a normalized URL with using, using Config Replace. Yeah, Replacement Patterns. One, one, or replace one, six, one. Okay. See, this is where URL here, and we take Config URL, root URL and we replace it. See? Yeah. This is where currently root URL is replaced in the dummy app. Um, it's also where the environment is going to be content. The content for hooks is where it's going to do the environment. So I'm thinking that something is mutating the options. We for sure have a caching problem. Like, yes. So now my... we can we can do another quick test to see that if we move the dummy app to be instantiated after the other one, that dummy is the quote unquote winner. Like basically to confirm the last one wins. Yeah, and then that's that. That's kind of uh, more like what we were saying with the async uh, with the or something or cat. I don't even know what it is. But I, it something. seems it seems like mutating. It's a mutating problem to me. Um, so I agree, but. Everything should be mutating their own instance state, not so the so the things that we share here are the project, which is obviously a factor. Um, and sharing the project means that uh, anything cached on the project will be an issue. But um, I'm wondering if it's something even simpler than that. Like if we're using object assign or whatever. It's only assigning the top level. It's not doing a deep copy. So this yeah. this trees object or whatever will be shared. Yeah. Tree, but trees is only it's not shared with anything because we're making a new pojo. We're making right? a new pojo. Yeah. Okay. Cool. What I'll do. Um, but but I agree. That, that's the sort of that's the thing we have to figure out. So we we're going to turn this back on. Uh, Ember build and move, again. Yep. Double check Confirm that it's M, back to MU on the dummy, which is not what we want, but it's confirming a bug. And then we'll move it back. Move it to the top, and then both will be dummy. Yes, that's the, that's the theory. So the thing that I want to confirm is that both become dummy in that case, or is it the one that has the extra configuration? The one that's way. Oh, interesting. I hadn't even considered that. Mm. So it's like it's got more power than it should have. Mm -hmm. So see that that's gone to MU now. I mean, I presume that it's not true. I presume it's the last one wins. But so what was it? We wanted this to be. Just move dummy. Just move the line. Just oh yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, move this up. There. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I was. Uh, I think Jen showed me that one. That's very, nice. uh, very happy with that one. I learned it. I was like, oh, this is magic. Right, and what was it we were checking? Oh, uh, so many well, things. we should see both the in disk should be dummy. Dummy, dummy. Yeah. So, so it, last, one wins. last one wins. Okay. Now, can you also see in the. This is the Emmy one. Oh, do you yeah, want me to open that up again? No, it was. It, I was just. Yeah, go ahead. But uh, I was just looking at the meta on line 11 mm -hmm. it's also says uh, dummy there if you mm -hmm. see 
hurt your dummy. So it is all the so basically it's gonna be something in this Ember app. So I'll follow you now. So this configure replace pattern is the whole point of this is to replace those files. Um, can we do another quick thing? Can we look in the uh, mu slash assets slash um, nope. app .js file? Oh, so sorry, not in in, in the sorry, actual yeah, disk. So mu assets and app? then the yeah. See how see how that file? Oh, they're all dummy. dummy. Yeah. yeah. So that's well, because of... the last time we built dummy was the one. Right? Yeah. It's definitely a dummy in here as well. Everything is dummy. So that's suggesting that it's not like, it's not just like something small in, um, like somewhere, somewhere further down in this kind of replacement mechanism. It seems to be quite high up. Yes. So I, I believe that, how do we do that? I know what it is. But I, I only know because of prior knowledge. It's not fair. Probably we should, we can keep digging. <laughs> if we if it fixes if it fixes it, says go for it because that's not so like fixing thing, this bug. Is... There's a thing we do here in project. See how line okay. So go if you are you following me. Uh, I am uh, line not two thirteen of Ember. Yes, I'm following you now. Uh -huh. So we mutate our project. To have a custom config path. And this is done in the constructor. So um, so basically everything that we load from config environment comes from this thing, right? Right. Um, so changing this will probably have horrible ramifications for lots of other things and probably needs a lot of uh, 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 RFC or something. Well, so this, so this we... is the thing. Steph and I basically hate this. Right. Like, it's horrible that we do this. Uh, but it is the thing we do and whatever. Yeah. So the um, the thing that we need to do is... Uh, so the good news is this, the fix here is simple for us. Um, the fix is that we need to make two separate projects. We need to make separate project instances for each of our dummy apps. Okay. Um, so we need to copy this bit. Um, and if you switch back to our Ember, oh, should I oh, so we're passing it. We're gonna. Oh, you've done that. Yeah, cool. We're gonna make it a separate one. So you you can pass it in in the config. Well, it's already being passed in, right? That's what defaults is. No one says that, but. <laughs> I, I personally will prefer not to have any of them. Just have them be symmetrical here. Yeah. So, so we're basically making, and then we got a require project. Yeah, I don't really have much context about what a project is in this case but uh it yeah be... it's a it's a god object that should be not yeah. a god object but whatever it should is. i try another build and see yeah. if that yep oh that's not where my cursor was whoopsie give it a whirl <clears throat> we're kind of just soft time check i'm good but uh, I know you said you were... Yeah, I'll have to run in a few, so... But now I want to see it work. <laughs> yeah, the thing... I've, I've forgotten where it's gone now, but we had... Uh... Where did we actually put that? Is it... Oh, so this test them. So we have to do we have to do npm test and for it to run one of them. And, yeah. and then the app, app to test and it will run the other one. Mm -hmm. How do we differentiate which one it's running? Uh, well... So you mean like in CI, like how yeah, just so we can actually CI? see what it looks like to make sure uh, quick verification, like add a quick test that's true. Did it tell you? Yeah, we should just change what's in the test um, test folders. Mm -hmm. 
like make one test, like have the test name be this is dummy and have <laughs> or something like that, right? Uh, oh no, sorry, because it's the so, same test then. Test, test. So then, um, good point. Good put point. It, can we put a console log in the and an app and it'll come out, or is that captured uh, by the whole UI thing? Yeah, I mean, the whole point of this is that your tests run against the same, Both, like the tests yeah. are shared, right? Um, let me just check here, because we've done that thing. Uh, we want to test the folder name seems wrong. Index. So this is dummy, but dummy is the second one now, so we want to check this one's index. Hey! Uh, did it work? Yeah. Oh, nice. What is assets? Mu slash assets. Is the is the asset name mu dot js instead of dummy? No. Yeah. See, why is it dummy? I think that that name might be something more specific. It might not be the project name. Oh look, assets dummy. Yeah. That so should it, be fine. It, it's fine. I, yes, I agree. Although I expected dummy to be renamed to mu here. Yeah. yeah but yeah, I, yeah. what I'm saying is, I think the way we pick that asset path name is just always. It's like since our somehow hard-coded in a different way i will look i'm just running a test now because i'm assuming this is going to work oh 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 i have a mistake we need to set the uh, log file there we go so there is a name file it, um i'm going to follow where you are you can see a little blue dot so you're doing something yeah, yeah. Oh. So I just added that line that I'm on. So the, it, the default name that we merge in with is dummy. So right. So I'll cancel that then. Run another build. This this should make the mu's assets folder have mu.js instead of dummy. Ooh, fancy. Um. So while that's building, because it takes a while, because I'm recording all the things. Um. How are we going to make it so that we, when we run test, we know which ones, which app is running? Is there any um, way for us to kind of see that? So the the thing, the again, the goal here has been all has been for us at least to share the tests, like share integrations, yeah. share unit tests, and just have them run against two different apps, right? I think the simplest thing to do would be to just have make a unit test and have the unit test import from uh, config environment like you normally would, and cons and like have the test title include the config environment name. Because the, the these tests are generated for each. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. It won't let me create a new file. Why? I'm not entirely sure. I'll just do it in touch. Uh, CD tests. Oh, in the wrong place. Um, should I just do it here? Two terminals going, or just the one? Hmm. I see. I think it'll open it in the same folder, oh, no, which you're... is nice. Um, okay. So testing MU. So we're going to go into CD tests unit, and then we want to go touch. Just like make anything. Who dash test dot? Yeah, who am I? Uh, got to be dash test dot JS, or it won't run. Cool. And then just like import module and QUnit from a module and test from QUnit. Do you want to take over here? Because I am. Sure. I always generate things. So this is like. It's a click my face situation. There we go. Oh. So you're going to just print out the environment. Yeah, right. Yeah. I kind of have followed what you were saying there at the time. Don't judge me. I mean, whatever. It'll do. Um, so I think now if you run tests, you'll see it. If you do... Hold on. Before uh, we do, I'm just going to have a look at our uh, 
assets folder, dummy on that side, assets mu, mu.js. Nice one. So now, npm test. A theory. <laughs> And this we expect to run the dummy tests, and the other one we expect to run. Um, the, well, then we have to say app to test to run the other tests. Yeah. And then I can, like I know we haven't done too much on the actual Ember CLI thing with the. Well, uh, the only thing on CLI is just to make this more ergonomic, right? Yeah. And and like make blueprints and stuff like that, right? So like I the, can... the thing that I wanted to prove is like, hey, this is basically already possible. Like I don't think we have had any. Well, we haven't run the apps yet, but I don't think we have any hardcore failures yet. Yeah. So I think that is good. The only downside is, um, oh, we're dying again. All right, well, let's give her a look. So this is, we want to do uh, the... I would do an Ember build so we don't have to do a build each time. and then. So we, we did build. a build for the last test that we were doing, and then it's like Ember, uh, Ember test you need to do Ember build. server, this but, thing. But you didn't, We have, have we done a build? Yeah, Yeah, so because we've got the MU, the new MU.js thing. Yeah. Yep. So Perfect. this one. Cool. And that means that we should have the same port. So what what were we expecting? That would have been the dummy app, dummy assets, dummy assets. Yeah, which seems dummy. like on the cuff it seems correct. So I'm not sure. Uh, seven three five seven seven three five seven. All right, let's inspect and see what goes. Everything. God. What? Why is it? Yeah, same so can't access. Did we change two things? So, so. We changed lots of crap. <laughs> what is okay? So slash dummy and slash this. So this funnel thing. Uh, yes. We're telling it to go to a particular place. Yes. But then, are we also telling it to? But, so sorry, let me let me be very clear about what I'm saying. So we're kind of putting it into a particular folder. We're making, we're making subfolders, yeah. We're making subfolders, but then we're hosting something at mm -hmm. dummy tests. Mm, well, so we we haven't changed where the it's still hosting the root. Right? So, so this is my question: Were we double adding slash dummy? Were we changing where it it's possible. looking? It is possible. So like um, change. To test, change this to. I'm gonna. So open first link. of all, we found the index.html, right? Yes, we it's did. It's trying to look at this. Not found. Ah, this is weird. Then what? Yeah. So go to dummy assets, and now try dummy slash dummy. Okay. Well, I don't know then. So that did. No, that that's Wait, there, no, but it's empty. Work. Ah, right. It's just so empty because we don't have any yeah. CSS. So dummy yeah. dummy assets is what we need. Yeah, but that's dumb. <laughs> it's dummy. Oh, sorry, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> so the the reason for this is a is a I let's go look. Let's go look. So this is so you're gonna have to open up CLI's uh, test command, I think. Okay. So that will be but in bin. Command, or no, sorry. Go to lib. 
tasks command. Or Ooh. lib, sorry, lib tasks uh, test. Sorry. Tasks test. Okay. Now, so so basically, I think what's happening is that we are tell we are using the root URL for the dummy app, and we're prepending a root URL to the um to the test config. Right. I think I'm thinking, sorry. Sorry. It's a lot of context here. So there's a simpler thing we can do as an aside. Um, I'm not saying we should shift gears to do it, but I just wanted to throw it out there. The The goal here is that you can run tests and you can switch via process environment variable of mm -hmm. which tests you're running. We could easily have done that in our own Ember CLI build file and just returning the single app.toTree mm -hmm. in both, like just return the right one. But that means that you can't test both while running in Ember serve, right? Like, I personally would love to be able to go Ember serve slash test slash mu slash dummy slash whatever and run them all. Like have two tabs or something instead yeah. of run two servers. But anyways, that, that is a separate ask. Like it's not the primary task. Well, it, it also nukes the idea of having one build to generate two apps. Yes. Which I know that's not what we were required. Yeah, it wasn't not, required. Exactly, that wasn't the initial goal. I, I think it is a related thing, though. So yeah. I... So, um, so the thing that I think, so you've got the test thing open. Let me click here. Um, okay, so we have, I'll follow you for a bit. So we have, so this is where we're revoking test. Here. Give it default options. Is, is this, this like is where we pass through the test page? Test this is where we're parsing the test and config, or we're providing our custom paths and stuff for the test and config. Okay. Um, but where do we say, um, where do we say what the build path is? There must be add on middlewares because the middleware must be the one actually doing the hosting. Uh, so, testum hosts assets. Dustin does host. So I think it's this. Output path. Um, okay. So output path to, is what tells it what directory. Well, it tells Tustin what its root directory is. And. And that is just the command output path, so that shouldn't have changed in this case. Set default options. What is deep? Where's deep? Oh, so this is default options, and then the other one is. Does Testum actually know about all of these assets? Because they're not, it's not the test file. It's well, Testum loads and is supposed to serve static assets relative to the dist, the output path that you give it. Like it's CWD here on this, right? Uh -huh. So, so it should serve up all the assets there, but something else is prefixing dummy to the path of the server, the test of server. Um, so if you uh, go to task slash server here, on the, scroll up a little bit, there's a folder called server. Oh, really? Oh, middlewares. Ooh. Yeah, I wonder if there's one for test. Yeah, go to test, test server. server. See so this is what I was wondering. I was wondering if it was more of there's a... That thing here. But we, I don't think we have to... Yeah, so this is where, okay. Root URL, there you go. Yeah. Exactly. Precisely. 
So this is where we're deciding to serve the assets. Uh, yeah, and it's a it's an express app. Yes, and the the server middleware is so this is um, this is not when you're running a test them. This is when you're hitting slash tests. Right. Okay. 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 And to do this well, we would have to update for it to do multiple. Like right now, we presume there's only one rerun, right? Like this sort of this that part this to get Ember Serve set up to be able to run to be able to like access the different apps on subpaths. Mm -hmm. That this task would have to be changed. This this thing. Like we'd have to do app dot use multiple times, essentially, yeah, yeah, once yeah. for every Ember app or something. Um, okay, but, which is fine. But uh, uh, app dot use. It's not actually defined. Well, yeah, app is passed point. in here. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but this is the sort of problem that I believe is is happening. Um, I just don't know exactly why we have dummy twice. So, to kind so of something. So, so testum is is trying to start with our root URL to some degree. So I'm going to hack it for now. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, this one tests. Hack it for now because we've got a lot of the bits and pieces where we want it to be mm -hmm. and you need to go yes um kind of and then that's that one and the thing that yeah, i want the other to one's see... gonna be dummy slash mu which sucks you think so i think so yes. i thought it would be mu slash mu i doubt it we'll see so we'll run this one again i actually don't know run this one again and theoretically, if I save that, which I did, theoretically this should be this should work with no problems at all. <laughs> oh uh, sure, keep dreaming. Because <laughs> it's it's just so close. Waiting for runners. That's fine. That's this. Oh no, that's not this guy. My guess is that Ember CLI is giving you the default. Yeah, I I think our root URL is just being used twice. I mean, clearly it is because it's asked twice, but I think something like that is going on. I thought we fixed this. Still similar ish. Oh, oh. We'll soon something. Oh. oh, hey, how do I see? Oh, I don't want to hide task. I want to see mu. Huh? Did you run? Which one did you run? I just run normally. What was the test that we were looking at? That's linting. That's fine. Yeah, it's not any of these. So it didn't pick up our test. Correct. So it maybe the build, maybe the build is from before that. That were you using the shared build? Uh, let me. Also, that was mu. I would have expected that to be dummy, unless you used the. the... Well, that's just linting, so it's just. Yeah, but it lint. Yeah. Okay. I'm not entirely sure I trust that linting. Trust nothing. <laughs> oh, okay, so when we change the test, because it goes in here, yeah, so it wasn't actually compiled in. Right, that's fine.
Okay, so we're going to now do the same thing that we did last time. Fix all these. And then we're going to do serve or test server. And we'll run that again. They said loaded. Ooh. Dummy tests config environment. Does that mean because we're. F well, I needed to have one more dot dot. That's yeah. my problem. But that's. It's, it's still going to tell you dummy. So. Uh, in my in my import, I just did you save that? Dot, dot, I got for my test. Uh, import config. Let's go. Yeah, that should not rebuild because we're doing this madness. But that's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay, so I still don't see where we are. Screwing up the base path here. Well, unless it's in a hold on, I didn't look at the command. There you go, man. Oh, you know that feeling when you've said a word so many times it stops having meaning? Mm -hmm. Dummy is now that for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I feel like the dummy. <laughs> Let's check this. Dummy tests because you did that thing, right? Yeah, I did. Like, yeah. So I now, now I'll prefix your other one and should work. here but we go again. The real question is: Is it going to be dummy slash dummy, or is it going to be place your bets? Um, mu is the prefix in there. Let's do yeah. mu. I think we can get away with that. Like that. Yeah. Mm, but you can't use. Oh yeah, you can. Okay, yeah. Sorry. Because we shouldn't need to rebuild. Correct. But I will need to edit the MU well, index we don't know to exactly what it is yet. <laughs> we don't know exactly what it is yet. Well, we don't know if it's dummy slash MU or if it's MU slash MU. The, um, the answer to that might point us in one direction or another. Yes. Yes, I agree. Okay. What is in there right now? Uh, why is it working? Dummy tests. It didn't seem to do anything. Right, you should go to MU tests. You gotta change the URL. They should both work all the time. You should be able to visit oh, really? this path. Yeah. Because we're serving all the assets. Go to MU slash tests. So we don't need this then? We don't need what? Oh, so this is just to actually run... Run the right ah, test page. right, right, right. Because we're in server, right? I see what yeah. you mean. Yeah. Yes. So we have two test pages we can do, right? Like... All right. All right. So, so yeah, we basically just tab. now didn't want the assets. So we think. What, what's our guess? I'm gonna say it's uh, mu. I think it's dummy slash mu, but okay. Oh, you might be right. No, we're all screwed. Yeah. What? Come on, <laughs> oh no, it's not dummy.css. It's mu.css. 
Oh. At the end. So this one definitely doesn't exist. Oh. Wait, does it? There's no prefix. Yeah, there shouldn't be a prefix. I don't know why there is one. <laughs> no, but uh, I mean, this one works without a prefix. Yeah. I know. But the other one, the other one didn't work. I didn't want the other one to need a prefix either. It's all lies, man. This one has fewer errors. Oh, so... Dummy CSS, dummy JS. Yeah, we didn't, um, didn't fix this side, but that's fine. Uh, dummy. Wait, but we didn't hand edit that, did we? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go to, your, go to the top level, t unless you want to keep editing this. But yeah, I just want to save this and see fine. what happens. Yep, 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 yep. I understand. And so what is the thing that you were going to say there? Uh, well, we just need to change the... the uh... mm, I think we have a problem, yeah. <laughs> I think that is... Oh, MU test as it works. And does... Did we get a console log? You had to well, we, rerun it has this the right one. Name. It has the right name. Basically. Yeah. So that means, that means we're good. Yep. So, so it works. Yay. Hack, 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 hack. Um, Many hacks. So, all of the hacks. So, so I think that. Uh, all right, go back to the thing. I think that um, go to the top level tests. This one here. Slash index, yeah. Slash index. Yeah. So notice how this file has the same name for the test, the file, the asset mm -hmm. file. Like there's no dynamic bit for that. So we need to make this shared. Yeah. So we either need to always use dummy for the extension or always use other if if you just go to the cli build and yeah, remove the name you move your... then that'll fix that i just i line 21 exactly so that would mean... now that'll fix that now, at least they're the same thing I'm now wondering... i still don't have an answer as to why dummy slash dummy is used versus just dummy it seems like it is a test of middleware <laughs> That is doing the thing, and is loading at the wrong path. I'm. I have a, a theory. I am all ears. Ooh, it didn't. So I found it. I found it. What the fuck is it? Sorry. Uh. So there is a thing that we do. <sighs> okay. Is There's it? A thing that we do. Is it? Without looking, is it something that says, if name isn't defined, do a thing, a special thing? No. No, okay. Name defaults to dummy. All right, okay, that's fine. It's not as simple um, as that, then. It is a thing that when you're running testum with a server, you can mount it at a custom root URL. Mm. So if you run npm test, I think you will have different results than uh, test server. Okay. So, npm test no, sh yeah. should no work. work now. I believe it should pass without dummy slash dummy. Because that's going to do a build and actually run it again. So, it's, yeah. it's like definitely fine, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then, theoretically, the... Um, up to build or whatever the one, whatever the prefix we we're going to call it. Uh, npm test should also work. Yes. So, <laughs> back... I can tell you where this is if you want to look at this code. Uh, are you at, at it now? Uh, yeah, but not in. I can't open new files on your side. So where where is it? It is in Ember CLI slash. Uh, lib tasks server middleware. Okay, do lib. And there's one custom URL rewriter. See that? Oh, uh, it's right there on the left. It's halfway in the left sidebar already. Which one is a custom yeah, URL, URL rewriter? I Ooh. can't believe we didn't spot that. I didn't spot that. <laughs> but, um, so when you're running test dash dash server, we check the project's uh, config, grab the config, um, use that. Uh, and mount and rewrite for you. Like we do a rewrite, so it doesn't. This didn't work, but yeah. 
Uh, does it, still, it doesn't still have dummy dummy, right? Uh, we rebuilt, right? Because because it's, it's a new build, yeah. But that's why it's not working now. It needs dummy dummy. Uh oh, I see. So test of middleware. This hook is used regardless. It's used all the time. So to humor me, can you move dummy out of dummy and make it somewhere else? Make it default Wait, or something. So. This one? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, this them. one to uh, yes. rename. Default. Or... Classic. Yes, they're perfect. <laughs> perfect. Um, now, I think we're going to have other problems, but <laughs> this is the path. This is, this is the path. So you think that they are Ember CLI build problems where we need this stuff, but for classic? Well, open up your. So. Um, so to oh yeah oh wait hold on so we need this yeah so we basically need to copy this guy spell correctly I'll go and fix it down here uh huh we don't need this guy anymore and uh, yep you killed dummy out and then. And then try it. Uh, this should be classic. Oh. Okay, no. So we now we need to make a. Um, I th I th uh, try it, but I think it's going to error. And while that's running, can you open up? Uh, um, sorry. Um, can you open my coffee, man? Um, can you open up? Uh, package JSON. Uh, who's package JSON? The the like the the one for the add-on add -on. that we're building. Yeah. If you go to the bottom of this. Ooh, what is this? That, that's that's the thing screwing us over. Um, so we don't have to. It's, uh, um, so basically. Every, there's things that are entangled that shouldn't be, but the short version is that when you add a root URL to your dummy app, mm -hmm. the, uh, the the sorry the commands only see one project, right? They don't see we're making separate ones, right? Mm -hmm. The commands only see one, and they see the one that's passed into you as defaults, right? Mm -hmm. That that's just what they see because the, from their perspective there's only one. Now the that project that gets passed to us gets its config path defaulted from this package JSON. Right. So because the config path from the package JSON for the command was um, because uh, because they weren't different, that means that the the command was always using the root URL. Right. Um, and in 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 a normal Ember app, forget about the thing we're doing. In a normal Ember app, if you say if you add a root URL um, this is because we yeah because the to, disk thing yeah, yeah. Um, in, in a normal Ember app, if you um, have a root URL, you don't have that root URL in your disk. In our case, we are adding it to disk, right? That's right. What the funnel at the end of the yeah. thing is doing. So normally, what they what what folks want is they want to um, modify test of middleware uh, the test of mid that, that that file that we just opened a minute ago. That thing is mapping from your root URL to um, the root of dist. That's why it had to be dummy slash dummy. Mapping that to the root of dist. So the root URL that it thinks the server should serve from, which is the default project root URL. This is... Let's connect. That's weird. All right, let's do a build and then look at it. Okay. But I'm pretty sure I'm right. The, the issue that I'm unsure of is whether... So right now, we specify a config path that doesn't actually exist. There isn't yeah. a config path. There is no file at that location.
Okay, so how much of this has made sense? Most of it. Most of it. Um, the My kind of takeaway for this is that this was useful for what we wanted it to be for. So you can kind of bring this to the team and say, like, yep. this is a, here are a few of the the foot guns that we came across. Um, I don't have a clear picture of what is the best way forward. The simplest way forward, from my perspective, is what you suggested as just uh, in your Ember CLI build, pointing out at one app or the other app for now if you really wanted to be able to test it as opposed to having to restructure yes, a whole bunch of things yes that's the simplest thing but i think the thing that we've gone down the path that we've gone down is the right path longer term so i'm going to do non-mu uh was a control a uh, and then yeah so it's it's yeah that was the my secondary thing is that whenever we hit on on a problem today you were like oh that shouldn't be done that way you know what i mean so it's like you saw a few things that you're like oh we can improve this we can improve that we can improve that so those things should probably be improved at some point yeah but but ultimately like none of those are required to be changed for the basic concept to work i don't think so this is the mu one oh something happened there what is going on uh, I think it's just because I reloaded at the same time. I'm just going to kill it. Uh, kill it. Oh, no. Seems not happy. Yeah, but I think that's my computer that's not happy because I'm recording. I see. That's interesting. We didn't have that problem before. Did it find the assets? Uh, yeah, it's found all the assets. There's no four hundred fours. But it's like cannot find module mu tests test helper. So let's go look at the mu asset. It In should the be dist. A, di, yeah, dist mu assets, and it's going to be in dummy because we call them both dummy now. So what am I looking for actually uh, in open the dummy JS file? Dummy JS. Uh, so our prefix is dummy here. Ah. This is the thing. So that's because we took name away. So let's put name But it worked without name. The only thing that broke was the file name thing. So, like, essentially, I would theorize that, was it, it was here. So you would have, in this case, name classic, and then this one we'd have name uh, mu. And then my question to you, test mm-hmm. index, how is this passed in? Can we just... Like it's passed in for each config, each Ember app. Yeah, we we cannot. Ma- add, yes, no, we can't do that. <laughs> we can't do that. That's why I said we uh, we can make it work eventually, but we can't do it without changing Ember CLI internals. Um, Is it so a... that's why I said we should just pick a shared name. Call it app. Call it app is a good name, as good a name as any. But the there seems to be. There seems to be a, a link between oh, name and that's the file the that's being that's output. Correct. So this is what I'm saying, like how how hacky and quickly can we make it just go like is that is that horrible? Like is this a template? Well, I, I don't or? think it is so this is a shared thing. It isn't a regular it isn't a template. It's we're do, literally doing regular expression replacement. Right. Um so uh it's easy to add it's easy to do it, um, but I'd like this to be able to work without modification to CLI. Okay. So. So if they're both dummy, I think that's fine. But I can't remember if this was the thing that affected the asset path or not. 
Yeah, so what we, we needed to... look at too many things. We needed to do... So I'll do build. We needed to do... The, change that to mu.css. Because by adding name here, it named all of the files mu.css. So if we can change it so that the... The file name doesn't use name here, but the prefix does, then we're we're good. Did that so make what sense? Does, yes, what does that dictate? Who dictates that? Name. I mean I think we can just specify output paths. So but I'm trying to see where it defaults them. I don't know if you're following me, but oh, I can I can follow you. I am going through all the things. So somewhere we are setting up output paths. This is the app. There we go. That's it. So we just do call it. Yeah, it uses this dot name now. Yeah, but you can just do app, and that solves it. Like just exactly what you said. Yeah. Cool. Um. So on. Yeah, undo that. The um, do you want me to undo that? Sorry, yeah, yeah, because this is in CLI, we can just pass it into super. Oh, right, okay, our, uh, we can just do out, output paths, right? Right, 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 cool, the, awesome, like magic. It's a sibling of this, uh, we can just make it shared actually because it's the same output path, and we're gonna have they're gonna be. Ooh, I don't not know what I did, but magic. I don't remember the format anymore. I, I can't remember if it's a Pojo at this level or... Uh, it was app, a Pojo. Uh, so app, I see. So app and then it's this. Do you want me to copy pa pasta? Yeah, that'd be great. So where was that last place you were? Uh, Ember app. Uh, Ember app, is this it? So I'm going to copy pasta, output paths. You can yeah. copy pasta as well. It, it all works nice and... We we also have independent copy pasta paste buffers. That's cool. Yeah, it's it's nuts. The whole th and we've got independent uh, rollback uh, undo, which is just oh, insane. Cool. Like, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so now if we change our template to be, I'm gonna close this because this is our dist one. Yes, and uh, and they've that changed has underneath been... us. Oh, yeah, as we grow in the number of files open. So now to... these are both app. Yep. Is that it? Yep. We could build, then run it. Then we then test should work. I think so. Cool. Awesome. All of this um, work that I've been doing, like live streaming or uh, recording stuff while running Ember Build, it's like, oh, I need to get a beefier machine. Yeah. But well, really... now Build will use like multiple processes and stuff. So if you use as many processes as you have. But but the recording actually like yeah, but the recording 100%. Is one too, yes. <laughs> it, it's like 100% my CPU almost all the time. Yes. So. Uh, yes. The it's it's like I it makes me want to upgrade to the latest Mac, but all this you know the keyboard horribleness. It's oh, like man, it's evil. yes, I don't. I'm yeah. avoiding until they fix that. Yeah, so I have I have uh, I I use an external keyboard most of the time. Mm. Um, like my I use an Ergo Dox, um, which is like a weird split thingy. Um, I can show you, but you know, it's like... <laughs> yeah. But and I quite like it, but the um, but then when I go mobile, it's like, oh man, this keyboard's horrible. Well, it's not even that; it's that uh, 
Oh, look at that. MU no, test. This is just a li that that one is a linting failure. Yeah, we can ignore that, but the MU test worked. Yeah. Uh, and this is now classic. Now you should be able to change it to classic, and that should pass too. No. No. <sighs> Go to hell. Uh, it's still looking for dummy here. Do I not put. I think I put. Name. Classic. Oh no the no the the bug is the, it's a simple mistake. The we need to change tests slash classic slash config slash environment. Test slash classic slash config slash environment. We had copied we'd moved this from dummy, but yep. we didn't change these two the new paths. Classic and classic. Nice. Awesome. Uh, and while we're here, we're just going to get rid of the noise. Eslinter C, include mm -hmm. files, class, classic, and we're going to... Uh, there's one more on 28 on there. Cool. Uh, um, yep. NPM test, because I want to skip a step. <laughs> oh, that's not going to work, because the testem defaults to dummy. Yeah, good point. So, uh, I'm not I'm not too worried about the whole lower less amount of travel for the actual new keyboard. I'm fine with that. It's the uh, it's the fact that it breaks. Yeah, I don't want I don't like the idea of spending two grand on a laptop and it having a random death. Uh, scenario. Yeah, like every six months. Yes. Oh, God. And and like apparently to fix it you've got to send it in and yeah and they had to replace the entire chassis yes, yes. which is just oh my god yeah. and, and I know I shouldn't I shouldn't be like this but like I don't necessarily care about the cost I care about the downtime yeah yeah, right? yeah. like I care about the not having the laptop yeah. like I know that I can handle not being able to work I did that once where. Uh... We had downtime in my first startup, and because I had to sit, like I, I don't know what it was doing, but I kept frying the motherboard, the the logic board. Oh, look at that! Now do the prefix, so, so that's classic. Uh, then what was it? It was app, app underscore two. It's on the screen above. Ember test. It's just npm test now. Yep. <clears throat> Whee. Moment of truth. Yeah, so we had downtime because I kept frying my uh, logic board and it did the whole, you know, um, visual, uh, vertical lines only. Yeah. Um, and I just got a Mac Mini to plug in for the time when it was down. And it's like, I might as well not have bothered because it was just to get everything set up. I think I yeah, even... it took you that much time, yeah. Well, I, I think I... The minis were not are not they were nice. I don't think they are now, but mm -hmm. they were at one point they were on par with the laptop hardware, but like it's just the act of switching computers is like non trivial. Well I had a, a, a time machine backup and I okay. time machine loaded it onto the mini, but then it was just like so slow to do anything uh, and it was just like because I was trying you know, start up cheaping out. We got the cheapest mini and and moving from the the most expensive 15 inch Laptop. that you can get yeah. to the cheapest mini is like, oh, oh, look at that. MU tests, it works. Sweet. That's a win. Ship it. <laughs> It'd be great if you could make a commit with our changes. So I'll, um, I'll commit. There was an initial commit in this add on. Um, like when you generate one, it makes a commit. So we should be able to basically make a commit to say, hey, look. This is the di this this one commit is the diff the the whole list of things you need. Um, the just... problem is it's slightly noisy because it's part of it's moving the the dummy yeah. app, but whatever. So we don't need to do anything because the only thing here was that we started in CLI. No, we, we we should we should do the thing that I would like. The thing that's important to me is that we commit the add-on, mm -hmm. and in CLI. We then say, okay, now what do we need to do to make this less onerous on <laughs> yeah. the right side? It's like, and make like a checklist or like a, yeah. a feature. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, I'll, I'll commit that up now. Um, and, this uh, is cool. I like it.
give you give you an access to it. I'll 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 make you a um, collaborator yeah, in case I, you it, wanted it, to. It, yeah, it, it, it seems good. Yeah. yeah cool. I don't mind going through PRs and stuff too. I still feel bad I haven't done the notifications thing I said I was going to do. Oh, well, so. yeah, no, don't worry about that. We can do another uh, live stream. Sounds uh, good, yeah. That'll be... Sounds good. Cool, awesome. All right, well, uh, good on you. I'm going to go and try to, I don't know, walk to the coffee shop or something. I don't know. <laughs> Emergency <laughs> coffee. I'm sure you can get one of those, like, <laughs> delivery <laughs> things. Yeah. Uh, no, I live I live kind of in the boonies. So oh, right, right. It's, kinda, it's like, I don't know, it's like, couple miles to the store so amazon hasn't started drone delivering coffee to no you yet. no i don't know if they i don't even know if they do that like in boston or providence which are the closest like real cities um but uh but yeah it's uh it's it's i don't know it's a trip so i have to go and figure that out maybe i can call and wine at my wife and see if she'll bring me coffee <laughs> nice <sighs> all right have a good one cool see you in a bit Peace, sir. good times thanks